Hi there. Before we start, I'd like to address something. If you were about to accuse me of copying Taylor Swift's look from her recent Vogue cover, Phew, thank you. I spent a long time putting this look together after receiving 17 DMs in one tweet about how I should recreate it. Also, Dad, I am really flattered that you thought Taylor Swift copied me. That was very cute. Next thing I'd like to address is that this video is very unplanned, but much like the substance usually found in adult diapers, sometimes the most exciting things in life are unplanned. Now, as several of you know, a couple weeks ago, I went on an RV road trip with a couple of my friends thrifting through the States. And there was one item that I continually found at every thrift store, regardless of city, state, or funny accent wielded by its inhabitants. And that was adult diapers, pristine, unopened packages of grown up defecation catchers. The reason for this phenomenon is up for discussion. I have no theories. Please give me yours. Anyway, I took it as a sign that I should get them and use them to make chicken diapers because my chickens spend about 50% of their life indoors and while they are classier than most of your uncles, they still poop on the floor. The funny thing, when I asked Instagram what they thought I'd do with the adult diapers, they pretty much all guessed make a dress, which is really a fantastic idea, honestly. But after realizing just plain washable cotton is better for chicken diapers, I decided I should use the adult diapers for something else. But then I remembered I'm not going to be taking another really long overhydrated road trip for a while. So I decided I'd use them for something else else, AKA a dress, more specifically a wedding dress. So last thing I need to address is this letter to my mom. After snuggling down and examining one specimen of our many urine retainers, I set to work designing a wedding dress fit for an incontinent queen. Quick warning, don't get too attached to this sketch because I did stray from it. Now you may notice by my model's face that I had the movie Frozen on my mind and I realized I hadn't seen Frozen 2 yet so I promptly got up and went to see it confusing thing. Her diaper is full of poo, but she was roosting back here for a while and somehow laid an egg. I love freshly laid eggs because they're still warm. It's like when you get socks out of the dryer, you just have to hold it up to your cheek. It's go time. Nextly, I took inventory of my supplies and realized this is a lot of diapers. It looks like I spent a fortune. This is a big budget film. I'm talking $3.99 big. Okay, plus the $1.99 I had to spend on this thread. Hey, can you be quiet? Oh, excellent time to explain this. I found this rolly thing at Harbor Freight and I thought I will find a use for that. So let's all pretend this is useful. Is this a good thumbnail or is it naive of me to think it's even feasible to get a good thumbnail for this video? All right, I've been talking a lot of smack, but it's time to get down to the nitty gritty because it's not about what you say you're gonna do. It's about what you do do. <laughs> I really hope my dad laughed at that part. Dad, if you didn't laugh, that's okay. Now's your chance to fake it. Anywho, Dini, for my first official act as mayor of Diaper Town, I separated all of the elastic waistbands from the diapers. Then I greatly dishonored my dress form Sylvia by enveloping her in diaper waistbands. From this, I came to the conclusion that you will need roughly eight waistbands for your diaper wedding dress. Now we are going to take all of these stretchy waistbands and sort of even them up. As you can see, they have these sort of curved sides, which aren't very helpful. So we're gonna have to re-sew all of the sides together, which is going to cause us to lose a lot of fabric, but gotta do what you gotta do. Am I right? <clears throat> I'm definitely gonna have to wear some stuff under because it's reasonably see-through and I feel like that would be sort of the antithesis of an adult diaper because the whole mission of an adult diaper is to protect you from embarrassment not to cause it. After you've cut the curved edges off of your size XXL urine dwellings you'll want to line them up vertically until they reach the length of a three-year-old ball python then pin them together. Speaking of diapers it's so saggy. <laughs> Now we gotta come up with a strategy. Believe it or not, I've never made a dress out of adult diapers before. <gasps> and oddly enough, I don't even know anyone who has. So I don't know who to ask for advice from. I'm thinking we'll do it the way that I add elastic to things, which is a zigzag stitch and tugging as I go. And then hopefully when I'm done sewing, it'll snap back into place. And now to repeat that same process on the back panels. When you're finished with the back portion of your dress, be sure to spend some quality time with your chicken as love, affection, and the occasional lullaby are essential for the production of healthy eggs. My carbon monoxide alarm went off, so I'm gonna have to do what has to be done. It says move to fresh air. So I put Tonto outside and now I've come back in to sew. Now we are going to take our front and our back panel and sew them together along the side. So far, it's going less than ideally. I should probably try it on myself. So first, let's draw the blinds. Dang it, my try erase marker's running out of ink. I'm just gonna have to bypass this step. First fitting is not going too badly, actually. I will for sure need to wear a slip under it. Bad news. I may have lost my chicken. She'll probably come back. I think she's just acting out because of the whole diaper situation. Not me making a diaper dress, but her diaper situation. Who would have thought there would be multiple diaper situations going on at one time? Probably the Duggars. They probably have a lot of diaper situations. Anyways, I also lost my pin cushion. I think I lost my pants. I don't see them anywhere. And after this video, I will have probably lost at least 12 subscribers. Will it all be worth it? Depends. 
I am so glad I don't have to hold that one in anymore. That should be an adult diaper slogan. I'm so glad I don't have to hold that one in anymore. Oh, I found my pants. At this point, I'm sitting in front of a mirror and messing around with draping and figuring out how to utilize the absorbent portion of my diapers. I'm definitely feeling some Disney princess puff sleeves and maybe some sort of like a... When all the babies in our family were babies. My dad would do this thing where he'd put diapers on our heads and saying George Washington was a very wise man. A very wise man was he. He could have been a king. If it seems like I'm only using this arm, I'm just gonna let you know it's because a friend and I made a pact not to shave our left armpits for the rest of the year because well, like there wasn't really a reason. I guess just curiosity. I should make a recreation of Sadie Robertson's wedding dress because that was the classiest thing I've ever seen. But like they very much think I'm going to put one of these across here just for like an added layer of non-transparency. That sort of has a Regency feel to it, doesn't it? Should I make a historical dress? A historical wedding dress out of adult diapers? That's way too niche of it. No one's gonna search that. No one's gonna search making it anything out of adult diapers anyway. Why am I doing this? Because, little one, there was a bag of adult diapers and it was too cheap to pass up. Now listen closely, brides-to-be. You're going to want to sew all your absorbent rectangles into one big circle. So now we have this long circular tube thing. We're gonna put it over our shoulders and like this nice top thing. However, we can't let that happen. Now we want to add the feeling of sleeves to this formless tube. So we're going to take it like so and pinch it here and here, pin it in place and add a few stitches there. Whew. It smells very badly like propane out here. I need to get my propane tank fixed. You're probably wondering why doesn't she just move this project back into her dad's house? Well, it is a mess in there and it is my fault. See, I've just been traveling a ton the past few months. When I come home, I dump stuff in there and then I leave again. Okay, well, I say I've been traveling a ton, but I don't want to make it sound like I'm like a globetrotter because I've been staying in America. Well, and Canada. So I've been staying incontinent. <laughs> incontinent. <laughs> oh, shoot. I've been laughing for like the past 12 minutes at my own joke, which I know is supremely pathetic, but I just really caught myself off guard with that one. I didn't, I didn't see that coming and it just... <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! Okay, so the tip I just showed you about pinning those two sides together, it's wrong, but I can't delete it because that part was just... Sorry, I don't need to go on and on about the incontinence joke. I don't mean to be a bladder mouth or blabber mouth. <laughs> Time to attach the loop to the dress. I might be jumping the gun here, but I feel like this looks pretty good so far. Like for being diapers. This could maybe be in vogue. Speaking of, if you notice I'm not wearing that outfit anymore, it's because yesterday after I filmed the intro, I got the sudden urge to go see Frozen 2. And then afterwards, Grandpa JJ was reading comments about himself from the last video, and it was very funny. JJ is a tall glass of water if I've ever seen one. And disturbing. Okay, but back to Frozen 2. It was probably the best Disney princess sequel I've ever seen. Was it as good as the first one? Not quite. The first one was just so iconic. And the song Let It Go was a phenomenon that I feel like only happens once a decade. It was so great. In fact, Let It Go would be a great theme song for adult diapers. Okay, think about it. Couldn't keep it in, heaven knows I tried. Disturbing, right? I mean, once you hear it in that context, you can't unhear it. There's more. Don't let them in, don't let them smell. Keep depends on and nobody can tell. Hire me for your jingles. I have wasted so much time. Also speaking of Frozen, I would really like to make a costume from Frozen 2, but I just haven't decided which one, so. Your help and suggestions in this matter would be greatly appreciated. Nice little good morning note from my dad. I love seeing a heart so close to the word kill. It tickles me. New day, new outfit. I think the fumes of the propane was really getting to me yesterday. <laughs> so I went into the house, turned the furnace off, and aired it out. So yes, it's freezing out here today, but I'm not going to complain because I like this job a lot better than my last one. I'm just so thankful I'm not working retail this Christmas season. And to any of you who are... You're the real heroes. To embellish my gown, I made flowers, much in the same manner that I made the flowers for my feed bag dress last year. <laughs> for the next step, take each of your pee pads and fold them until they are the shape of a 12-year molar. Then stitch or glue them in place. Now the plan is to take all of these puffy things and use them at the bottom of my dress to create sort of a flouncy mermaid effect. If I don't have enough to make it look full enough, I suppose I will just have to go to Walmart and buy more adult diapers. It shouldn't have to be embarrassing to buy a product like this because some people need this. A couple years from now, I might have to be going to the store buying these because my dad's really old. That's joke. If you're out there and you have to buy adult diapers, don't be embarrassed. I say just own it. Be proud. Maybe not proud. Okay, true story. So my DMs are full of 90% females, usually asking for sewing advice or just generally being lovely. And this one time there was a guy and he's all, you're beautiful. And I'm all, okay, I'll check your profile. And I look 
in half of all his pictures, he was wearing a diaper. Like as in nothing but a diaper. And bizarrely enough, I'm still single after seeing that. Could there be a correlation? Maybe? Now is a great time to tidy your area and attend to any broken shoes you may have with hot glue. And alas, it is finally time to close up the other side of your dress. Now you are going to take your pee pads and stitch them in place all along the bottom of your skirt. You will probably need to do this by hand, but in all reality, you probably won't be doing this at all. Another fitting, here we are. Now, these things on the bottom look like, forgive me for my crudeness, but diapers. So so we are going to use them as the foundation or the crinoline of our skirt. Hi there. Oh crap. <clears throat> One second. <coughs> I know my outfit is different, but don't worry. An inordinate amount of time did not yet again pass without your awareness. No, this isn't interstellar. I simply got cold, so I put on another layer. Now let's get back to the dress, shall we? We are going to... Oh, again? <laughs> We are going to use our remaining waistbands to create the very bottom flare of the skirt. We're going to gather them up like so. It doesn't seem like we have quite enough. This one will have to be sacrificed as well. Well, friends, our journey is nearing its end. Your big day is fast approaching. How do you feel? It's normal to get cold feet, especially in an RV with a broken propane tank and no heat. <clears throat> oh, here is where I wanted to make a joke about how my sewing machine kept pooping out on me. <laughs> Now to attach the ruffle to the skirt. We are covering this area. This reminds me of Ursula. Here's a clip of me burning my fingerprints off in an effort to make a ruffle to cover up those hideous diaper tentacles. Next on the obligation menu, we must cover up those size stamps. I chose to cover mine by making little bows, but you can cover yours by making uh, your, your own little bows. Now take all the leftover absorbent portions of your diaper and lay them like so on your driver's seat. You'll thank me later. Day three and time for the final fitting slash grand reveal. Now I know the fact that it took me three days to make this is kind of ridiculous. Someday I will complete a wedding dress in one day. But to be fair, in the middle of this project, I got very distracted looking at portraits of Anne Boleyn and then I took a break to make a French hood. So, oops. Anyway, with all the things that I added to the dress, it'll take away from the elasticity. So let's see if it actually fits. I really want to do one of those like bridal shoot things where there's just pictures of the dress. <laughs> I'd say this could have gone much worse. I would actually wear this. I was so pleased. Honestly, if I ever get married, I want to make this dress out of like a legit fabric. But then again, maybe not because like everybody cries on their wedding day and the absorbency is right here where the tears would hit. So it's like kind of perfect. Now my favorite feature of the diaper silhouette is that it can be worn short and ruched or easily stretched out and long. Question. Yeah. If you had to guess what this dress was made out of, what would you guess? The prettiest, most expensive fabric I've ever seen. Okay, well, it's made out of diapers. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. I don't think boys are scary, but boys in trucks scare me. I dare say that wedding day was a tad anticlimactic.